Perfect. Hello everyone, we're going back to the Dunamis. Actually, let's look. We're still missing 30 fucking things on this somehow. Anyway, we just got another... Option, now we gotta get this one. I mean, I know there's at least one here that we gotta do. Uh, let's save our game. Yes. <laughs> Pete, how often do you monologue for Ed? Oh, you look fired up this time. Which project are you tackling? After the end. The artifact reading uh, is coming from a world that has already ended. Could you go find it for me? Yeah, sure. Ready right. for We're going to the end of time, guys. The potential world I'm sending you to next is already dead. What do you mean? A world where the desert has already consumed the continent and everyone in it, I think. I'm surprised we can go to a world like that. Or even that it exists in the first place. Anything is possible. We'll need the artifact there to save our own future. Can I count on you? Of course. I'll bring that artifact back. I promise. P, can you make dinner tonight? Why should I? P, the Magic D, make dinner when you have such great skill. You can really serve my tummy better if you make the food. You have to say my tummy too, because it sounds better that way. The future is not safe in the hands of my cooking. I could poison many children, but it's just us two eating. But they could this eat it. Really That's the dead. point. Everything has been swallowed into the expanse of sand. Finding the artifact here won't be a simple task. Use your artifact as a metal detector. Wait, these are. Footprints. There must still be people living here then. But who? Suppose following the prince is the only way to find out. Forsaken world. Ah oh, shit. Why are you two here? What the What are you two doing here? Our sworn duty was to serve the Granorg royal family. Oh. But when King Victor was killed and that wench took the throne. It all felt like a bad comedy. Then why did you push so hard for Protea? Why not support Erica instead? And yet that was an opportunity. Using that woman was our chance to gain true power and thereby help our country thrive. That's right. Our plan was to create the perfect utopia. So why? Why did this happen? <laughs> There's little point in trying to talk to them. They seem to be nothing more than illusions. In hindsight, the best of times were when Prince Ernst was still with us. Sad, but true. Had he been around, things might have turned out differently. They're gone. I suppose that means they really were illusions, hmm? The footprints don't end here, though. By the way, guys, this will be the last 30 minutes of the stream. Oh, this dude. That's Galva, the Patriarch of Forgia. The wounds dealt by humans should be mended by humans. That is why the Gutrals only watched from the sidelines when we could have acted. And so we sat by while our home was swallowed by the sands, leaving the world in human hands alone was a mistake. Well, that sucks. He faded into nothing, just like the other two. I suppose I should keep following the footprints. Noah! No. Is that Noah? The citizens of Granorg were suffering from famine. Thaumatech engineering could have helped so many people, yet the king forbade its use. I founded Alistel to save lives. 
Never did I imagine my actions would ignite the flames of war. Noah. I thought Thaumatech would bring peace, not so discord. Shit. We're sowing discord now by getting so many people I to install it. I never wanted to help people. Were it not for the desertification, this tragedy would have never occurred. <sighs> I can't help but feeling that the... These illusions seem to be the emotions left by those affected by the desert's advance. No time to think on it now. It might not be by much, but the artifact reading is steadily growing stronger. Seems he's following the footprints is the best way forward. I feel like um, this game is an allegory for real life in that it uh, is saying what will happen to mankind if we keep Bonus. ignoring shit. Once there was a Satoros who had faith in humanity, but he was killed by the very humans he believed in. He never should have trusted the humans. Nevertheless, he did. He thought that not all humans were evil. He learned some people could be friends, regardless of race. True. Although he knew betrayal was inevitable, he had faith in humans to the end. That's why. That's why we believed as well. But humanity repaid our trust with a world of death and sand. I have to wonder whether humans crave their own destruction. That's what Star Fox would have, Tile. That can't be true. There are still more footprints. Who could be next? Heist. Ice. Mm -hmm. Who are you? You don't know who I am? Mm -hmm. Why can't you remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything is gone. My memories, my hatred, my sense of self. It all disappeared. Yet yours are still here. Hey, Sola. Who are you? I, I can't remember anything. It is does. this the end you desired? You traversed history, time and time again, rewriting the past. And this is where you settle. <sighs> I... I can't, can't accept that. Heiss, you have to remember. It's me, Stark! Oh man, this game has so much. Damn it. The artifact reading disappeared along with him. What can I do to bring Heiss back to his senses? If only I had something that could rouse his lost memories. But what would that be? Huh? Heist's key, is there something in his office? Heist's key. Maybe it can help me find what I'm after. My guess it'll be something later in the game. So if we go back to one of the later in the game ones where I can get into the Alistelli and uh... Okay, so if I go to the White Chronicle, we need two more chapters in there. I don't think that's it, because that's in Grand Org. No. That's in Scala. No. No, that's in Scala. Uh, it's not in Alistair either. All of this is in Grand Org. Okay, hang on. Let's go over here then and check. Maybe it'll be in the other timeline, the alternate timeline. Shadow Crown, no, is that in? That, that's kinda, it's Demigod. It's all in Grand Arg. Return to Alice will probably be good. No. 
Let's do this one here. Let's try this one. It's nearby. Ice's office is right here. Yeah, okay. Maybe the key I got from that illusion of Heist would work here. There we go. This is a portrait. Prince Ernst and his uncle Heinrich. That's Heist there, which means, is that me when I was young? This portrait must have been a precious memento for him. Okay. This may be exactly what I need. Something with this much sentimental value is sure to bring Heist's memories back. Okay. Meanwhile, Sassy's turning into a ghost. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Instead of doing that ever since I got my new uh, webcam. I wonder if we're down to the first floor. The same way, but if it's that cool. Going to bed now, Fluffy? Okay. Well, thank you for coming to hang out. Let's go to this one. Let's save our game. One chick's back with a bomb. You get back and immediately get a phone call from work? That is rude. him from being sacrificed and gave him a new life as me. Stock. Stock. Ah, yes. But how can this be? You disappeared into the sand with everything else. Good to see you regained your memories. Now answer me, Heiss. Is this the end you wanted? Such empty, meaningless destruction? It's satisfying to love more than just me. Also, I might like to point out to you guys that I, the moment I saw Heist when I played this game, I knew he was evil. And I was right. That's right. This is truly what I wished for. A world so cruel as to take my precious boy. It all deserved to turn to sand. Why must an innocent child be sacrificed in an insane ritual? I'd let the world perish before allowing your soul to suffer for eternity. Then again... You seem less than pleased with the outcome. Nice. But perhaps there was another possible outcome to all this. You came here from another world, did you not? How did you know? I accomplished my goal here, after all. I watched my stock turn into sand on the wind. Well, I suppose you're partially correct. It's more like I'm traversing a different possibility than the stock you were familiar with. Ha. <laughs> How intriguing, my boy. You were my possibility. My one hope and last redemption. That's why I will give you this. White hourglass. Oh shit. Now go. Write the end you wish for. Show me a world where hope is still a possibility. That sand is talking to me. Thank you. You can only keep up this form for a short while while on stream. Welcome aboard, Stock. Hope you didn't get sand all over you. I'm clean. Don't worry. Anyway, here. Thanks. That's another step closer to ending the desertification. So, what was it like? The only remnants of life were the residual emotions of those who used to live there. Now that I think about it, those emotions may only have taken form thanks to the art artifact. So, it allowed you to connect with the feelings of those you're working to save. I hope so. Either way, I won't let my world turn into the wasteland that had become. <laughs> you get an A for effort. I honestly believe that one day, 
all, all your hard work will pay off. Is that we did it. We finally have enough gold stars for the both of us. So, so we can fix the Red Chronicle? Fine. You get a red X instead. The search is finally over, so you could at least act happy. Wouldn't it be more appropriate to celebrate after the Chronicle is actually fixed? Sheesh. It's not as fun if I'm the only one celebrating. That aside, does this mean we've gathered all the artifacts? Correct. After all this time, the artifacts are back together. It's a dream come true. Yeah. At long last, the Red Chronicle will finally be back in my hands. Although the actual repairs will take a little more time. I'll leave that to you then. Thanks to you, we've got all the artifacts. But there's one more step to saving the continent. You mean beyond just repairing the Red Chronicle? Yeah. We'll need the cooperation of the Black Chronicle's holder. That means finding a way to persuade Heiss. All right. You can leave that to me. Thank you. I'm sure you can convince him to help us out. The question is, will Heiss even listen to me? That is a good question. When when should I go and talk to him? Should it be near the end of the game? Should it be near the beginning of the game? You've returned, Stock. We have interesting news for you. A new chapter has been added to the White Chronicle. A new, new chapter? That's right. One that normally should not exist. But how? The ritual succeeded. My duty as a sacrifice should be no more. The presence of this addition is due to the actions you have taken on your journey so far. Hmm, I think I understand now. The desertification is still taking place, in other words. There's more for me to do. Indeed. It seems history isn't done with you yet. Now, proceed forth into this new possibility. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? All right, let's see this new history. I've returned to this pivotal moment now to persuade Heist to join our cause. Ugh. You fool. Why did you think I gave you the power to fight your fate with the White Chronicle? You greatly disappoint me. Heiss, I need to request a favor. What, pray tell, would you ask of me after all that's happened? Please, listen to me. I need your aid in eliminating the cause of Van Coor's troubles. The cause, you say? You know well the tragedy that occurred in the Empire ages ago and the ritual born out of it. Well, my plan will end any need for us to perform that ritual. That's what you've always wanted, isn't it? Hmm, tell me more. TPGG! So, Welcome to the stream, hello! the problem from its source. My slimes are invisible. Ah. Yes. Because it's not I need light. your cooperation. Please lend me your aid, Heiss. We were enemies but moments ago. Yet now you ask for my help. You truly are a precocious boy. It was not a at all. Thanks to you, Heiss. You gave me the White Chronicle and the power to overcome fate. Fair enough. Let's talk outside. I like how he just put his jacket back on. It's like, all right. Stock, you're back. And Heist too? Hold on, Rosh. Listen to me. We need Heist fighting alongside us for what's about to come. What's about to come? Isn't the princess already going to perform the ritual and fix everything? No. We're going to create a world where we no longer need the ritual's power. Sounds good. But, uh, 
What are we doing exactly? Allow me to explain. Nemesia? What are you doing here? It's nice to meet you all. My name is Nemesia. Stock has been helping me out, and we've almost met our goal. In other words, you know how to solve the desertification at its source? That's correct. Through a series of Thaumatech experiments, the Empire of Old inadvertently created a monster. Like a black hole, this temporal beast drains the mana around it. It is known as the Singularity. That's not the Singularity. So you're saying this Singularity is sucking up all the mana? Wait, wait. That's what's causing the desertification? Correct. But the Empire couldn't contain the monster they made. Thus, the Ritual of Flux was used to suppress its powers. <gasps> That's what the Ritual was all this time? I was told its purpose was to heal the Earth. To think this was the truth of the matter. <laughs> Beginning to see the big picture here. The means of defeating this temporal beast have only recently come to light, yes? Bingo. But doing so requires all three magical tomes. Stock's White Chronicle, Heiss's Black Chronicle, and I'll need everyone's help to restore my Red Chronicle. I'm asking as well. Please, assist us in putting an end to this tragedy once and for all. Yes. Even I no longer wish to perform such a grievous ritual. No need to ask twice. We're all here. That's right. We'll fight by your side to the very end. Thanks, you guys. And you, Ice? Will you offer us your strength? If it puts an end to this tragedy, then so I shall. All right. It's settled then. Let's immediately... Don't get ahead of yourself now. I will cooperate. But there are other matters I must attend to. Surely you don't need me to compile the Red Chronicle. True. We won't need your Black Chronicle until we're ready to face the Temporal Beast. Then I vow to rendezvous with you before the final battle, at the place beyond time. Very well. He's going to replace all the pictures okay. in the world with pictures Let's of him. Okay, let's get to work on compiling the Red Chronicle. Follow me to the Dunamis. Hey look, everyone's here. Wow, a boat! The animations on my overlay? The uh, slimes? It's huge! Yeah, this is... I wouldn't have guessed you'd been taking off on a ship. Stock, you've been carrying the weight of the world all on your own, haven't you? Yeah, how about a little trust? Apologies. I wasn't allowed to tell anyone about this. It's okay, Stock. We could all tell something was up. Ah. But we had no idea it involved saving the whole continent. Well, the slimes are uh, a program called Stream Avatars. They use sprites to use. Peace slime went for that bomb, yeah. Basically, Wintreak and I designed uh, the... Well, we didn't design them. We found them, but we uh, had to... We, we, we basically made the animations work on, on the program. Um, Wintrig did design the, the babbles, though, pretty well. <laughs> Lovely P. Yeah, it's a, it's a program on Steam. I knew all along. Stock special. Of course. The red one, and I mean stock, mended relations between beast kind and humans after all. Yeah, they're a way for followers to uh, interact with the stream. For example... Oops, that's not the command. There you go. Uh, followers and, uh, subscribers get access to, uh, to avatars. Sounds like none of us would be here without Stock's help. Let's leave the thanks until later, though. We still have much to do here. Now, Nemesia, 
Tell us what our next course of action is. Like I said, I need your help repairing the Red Chronicle. Sure, but don't you need some, some special know-how to deal with magical tomes like that? Not to worry. That's where I come in. Compiling a magical tome is different from a normal book. More so with the Red Chronicle. You could say we're turning the artifacts into pages and putting them back in the right order. Uh... what? That sounds hard. Hmm. Maybe it's easier to grasp in practice than in theory. So let's get, get started. Okay. I'm thinking uh, about creating a few slimes that are for the uh, for followers or subscribers only. I know some people and don't like that, are, but here we are, the Chronicles Labyrinth. Um, what? It just looks like Alistair to me. <laughs> you get an F for judging a book by its cover. So this isn't Alistair. This is the world as it was 50 years ago. We're in the past? It looks like this because this chapter of the tome covers Alistair's history. Then we can go to other places and times? Oh, that I'd like to see. I mean, wow, these, these magical tomes can work miracles. Long ago, the Red Chronicle was accidentally destroyed. As its unbound pages fell, they were transformed and scattered across many possible worlds. So... The artifacts I've been collecting were actually those transformed pages. The Red Chronicle is a tome for exploring possible new worlds. But to recompile the pages, we'll first need to repair the damage to the spine. How do we do that? Simply return the collected artifacts to this material realm within the Chronicle. By doing so, we'll be recording history as we go. Be on the lookout for book sculptures and treasure chests around the labyrinth. <laughs> Much like overdue library books, they have to be returned. Over there's a book sculpture. And that's a treasure chest. Thanks. To accurately record history, each artifact must be put back in its corresponding passage. Once the book sculptures have all their artifacts back, the chapter will be complete. So if you're pressed for time, prioritize the book sculptures over the treasure chests. Got it. The book sculptures are most important. Does that mean we can ignore the chest? We don't need them, per se. But the more we fill in the blanks, the better off history will be. Dance at Wintrig. Yeah, TP, um... The, the commands themselves will only work if you, uh... All right. If you, uh, we'll have a slime can. avatar on the screen. Just to reiterate, we're 50 years before the present day. That's when the war between Granorg and Alistel started. So keep your wits about you. There should be three book sculptures. Let's look for them. Yeah. Time to compile this chapter. I will destroy you, lady. Alright. We're gonna go down and explore a little bit. Yeah! I don't wanna fight you. Get out of here. This chest is, is empty. It must need an artifact. Oh, I gotta put the red mirror in there. Sweet. Yay! It had a mana crystal. Perfect. Just what I've always wanted. Tourniquets. Perfect. This game knows how to spoil me. An unfixed sculpture. For this book sculpture, we need this artifact. The red flute. Alistel was founded by a man named Noah. His knowledge of Thaumatech turned the frigid north into a land of plenty. But Alistel's not even all that far north. In fact, it's not even further north than Granorn. 
All right, ladies and gents, uh, that's going to be it for today's stream, though. We will complete this game tomorrow. I still have the DLC to do after all, so... But, so that's going to be it for today's stream. We got a little more of the game to play, but we should be finished this week.